morning y'all i'm at my boyfriend's house it is sunday it's about 11 30. um so yeah he had to go on call so he'll be back in like an hour but it's super bowl sunday so his mom is two doors down and we're doing dinner and watching the super bowl tonight before i go home tomorrow so I just took a shower, washed my hair. I need to do something with my hair. I didn't bring my flat iron, so I'm either gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do some kind of updo. Um, but I'm gonna throw my makeup on first. So yeah. So it's 5.45. We are leaving tomorrow sometime to go home. Not sure if I'll do go to the grocery store tomorrow or if I'll go Tuesday, but it's gonna happen either tomorrow or Tuesday because we are like empty at our house. Um, so I'm working on a grocery list and a meal plan right now. So you'll get that in this video. Um, so yeah, when he gets back up here, we're going down to his mom's to eat dinner. And yeah. Hey y'all, it's Monday. It is 12.45. We finally made it home. Well, the town, back home. People are looking at me like I'm crazy in this parking lot talking to my phone. Um... But, I was able to finish up my grocery list. I may forget a few things, which will be okay, because I'll have to go back to town Friday when I go to pick up Cooper. But we're going to Walmart. We're just leaving Target, um, because I needed to find a few more fillers for Mason's Easter basket. Yeah, you can hear him busting back there. We just left out of Target, got a few things. I'll show you that when we get home. And then, um, I'll probably show you the groceries in this video as well. Um, but we're fixing to head to Walmart. Hey y'all, it's 2.30 Monday evening. Finally made it home. Groceries are in the car, fixing to unload them. But I'm gonna show you what we got at Target first and then we'll get into Walmart because Walmart was like $200. So, like I said, we just got home. The house is a wreck. I'm gonna get this house cleaned up this week while I'm finally back home. I was supposed to get it cleaned before I left and it just didn't end up working out like I wanted it to. So, it's okay, it's just kind of stuff thrown everywhere. But we're gonna show you the groceries, and I didn't really meal plan, so I've got a bunch of frozen stuff, but I did get like stuff for some spaghetti, tacos, uh, beef tips and gravy, simple stuff like that, so we can figure out what we're doing and get back on our routine. So for Target, they had a mix of spring, Easter, Valentine, and St. Patrick's Day out. I got this white wire basket for $5. They had one in the shape of a chicken, but I've been really enjoying decorating my table for like the holidays and the season. And I just don't think the chicken, the chicken wasn't big enough to put the stuff in that I wanted to put in it. So that's okay, but I got that and I'm gonna decorate that somehow. I got the cute little chicken. I didn't get the, they had a wire basket chicken, but they had a few different plush chickens. And I just like this white one with the blue and white stripes. So he was $3 and he'll go with my Easter and spring decor. This little three pack of carrots. They had a few you could choose from. I like the plaid. Um, and this one was also $3. Mason needed a few more small things. If you saw that video, I'm probably going to go back and redo that video. But I did get Mason these little water, water toys. Um, they were a dollar each and they had five to choose from. I just got three. But I got him cute little Easter eggs. And this one's like little robin eggs. This one has a little frog. And then this one has a bunny and some carrots. And then the Dollar Tree does not have their boy like Easter headbands this year. Like they just have pink and purple. So I saw these and loved them. So I got these to throw in the boys baskets. These were a dollar each. Look how cute the brown with the blue and teal. Just so pretty. So got those. Then last little bit for Target. I got Mason some of his snacks. He liked these, likes these teeth and wafers. So I got him the blueberry. I got him a blueberry puffs and a vanilla puffs, and then I got him one of the apple harvest teething wheels. And then I told y'all I like the peep on a stick. So, well, I got these at Target because I went there first, just the original, but they had some other ones at Walmart that I picked up. So they're gonna get two of these in their basket, just two different ones. But I get got those to put in their baskets, and then I got this four pack of Cadbury cream eggs to go in their baskets. So I picked up a thing of Mason's unsweetened almond milk. So whole milk, because they didn't have any 1%. So I did get whole milk for me and Cooper. Some apple juice. I don't know why I didn't just get the big grape value. It's cheaper, but I ended up with the Mott's. Two things of spaghetti noodles. I got stuff to make spaghetti twice because it's just a quick, easy meal when I'm running late, don't have time to cook. Um, so I got two of each thing for that. So yeah. 
some stew meat. This is to do the beef tips and gravy with rice. Some eggs, a loaf of bread to do like buttered toast, um, grilled cheese sandwiches, stuff like that. Picked up a thing of Go-Gurts. It's a 16 count. Yeah, some of these cheese head, Colby Jack and turkey sticks. Some cheese sticks without the meat. <laughs> some shrimp for whenever I want to make bold shrimp. I'll just have to pick up the mix, the potatoes and corn, and that'll be it. I've already got the shrimp because sometimes I can't find this at my Walmart. So I try to keep it on hand. Taco kit for taco night, uh, dinner yeast rolls just to have with a side one night. Those are really good. Just add some butter on them and throw them in the air fryer for five minutes. Amazing. C-pack. This is the popcorn shrimp frozen. I think that's what we're going to have tonight. We're not going to eat all of it in one sitting, but this will be, if it's all three of the kids and me, this will be one and a half meals. If it's just me and Mason, it'll be like three meals. So this is at least two meals in this box for us. I picked up four pizza Lunchables because Cooper loves those. I had got four of the silk dairy-free yogurts for Mason, but he broke into one and busted it, so there's only three left. Walmart had Mike and Ike Pete, so since I got the regular ones at Target, I saw these and picked those up, and then I got the four pack of Pete Dolly Pop Rings that we each get two, and that is it for the Easter candy. <laughs> no more I'm buying. I got two of the cream of mushroom, the great value, because it's so much more expensive with the name brand. It's like 60 cent cheaper for the great value, and it's the same thing, and I can't always find it. So I got two, some of these ciabatta rolls. I think I'm saying that right. I would be wrong, but I love these with some butter, y'all. I picked up a full pound of Fiesta Blend cheese. We've just been going through so much cheese. I decided to go ahead and pick up the full pound bag. A three pound thing of ground beef. It's just cheaper to separate it than to buy the individual tubes. So I picked that up. A thing of great value fig bars. We really like these and they are a little bit healthier than regular cookies. Picked up a box of Cheerios just for a quick breakfast or a snack. These Pillsbury Easter bunny and chick cookies to throw in the freezer to make just for fun and have a sweet treat. Beef shepherd's pie. My mom has a really good shepherd's pie recipe, and I have never been able to nail it. So, if you know how to make it with the mashed potatoes and the beef and the gravy, let me know. The stovetop way. Let me know in the comments below if you have a recipe. I cannot nail my mom, so I got the frozen one for right now. And then these Great Value No Crust Sandwiches. These taste just like Encrustables, and they're like $3 cheaper. So, these are good just when we're going out. And I know we're going to be out during lunch. I'll grab these, take them with us, and by the time we're ready to eat, they are... Um, whatever you call them, thawed out, and you can eat them. Then I picked up strawberry syrup and chocolate syrup for milk for the kids. I've been really enjoying chocolate milk, and I'm not a big milk fan. So as long as I'm enjoying chocolate milk, I'm going to drink it. But Mason likes both. Cooper likes chocolate. I like chocolate. So Mason's really the only one that drinks strawberry. He just saw a case of his applesauce pouches. So I had to pull one out of the fridge for him. That's why he was kind of fussed and he wanted one. But I got this white water wave drink for the kids. I water it down with water. Um, then I got an 18 count of the cheesy mix, Doritos, chili cheese, Cheetos, Harvest Cheddar Sun Chips, and Cheeto Puffs. This lasts us about a month. We still have like two bags left in the box from last month. Picked up a 12 count of the unsweetened applesauce pouches. Those are good to go with like our Uncrustables on the go. These were new. They had two different kind you could choose from. It's a 10 pack. It's DB's Organics Super Fruit Freeze Pops. So we shall see. The kids have been enjoying popsicles already, even though it's still cold outside some days. But they've been enjoying them. So I picked those up to try. Then I got four of the Idaho Roasted Garlic Mashed Potatoes. These are just a good quick side dish that all of us love to go with any type of dinner we have. This is the first time I've seen Capri Sun watermelon, so I got those for the kids, well, mainly for Cooper, to keep in the drawer in the fridge, just easy access here and there as a treat. Iceberg lettuce for the Big Mac bowls that I want to make again. Y'all, I'm loving them. And then y'all know Cooper loves Lunchables. Well, Mason's thing is oatmeal. He loves these flavored oatmeal, so he loves the birthday cake, so I got another box of those. We were out. And then the Snickerdoodle. We've never seen that before, so I picked it up, and hopefully he'll like that one. You eating? Well, eat it. The wrong way. Then 
the last few things at Walmart, I picked up a pizza because we do have a birthday party to go to Saturday. It's Monday here now. Um, so we're going to eat before we go to the birthday party. And I figured this would just be simple to have before we go skating. So I did pick that up to throw in the oven Saturday before we leave here to have lunch. The two things of pasta sauce. Normally I get Hunt's meat sauce, but they didn't have any meat sauce other than this ragu old world style sauce flavored with meat. So we'll see if those are any good. I have a bad, I don't know. I don't say I have a bad feeling, but I'm just, I, I like my Hunt's meat sauce and I have not ever found anything that compares to it. I don't like great value pasta sauce, which I'm a big great value girl, but not for pasta sauce. And I don't know how this is gonna go. So that's just, uh, pasta sauce is just one of those things that I stick with the same thing. and. I don't know how I'm feeling about that, but we will see how they turn out. And then the last few things, Walmart finally put out their Easter stuff. I found this. They have a whole aisle of like Nickelodeon and Disney stuff this year at Walmart. If you have not finished your kids' Easter basket, run to Walmart right now. They've got Ninja Turtle, Mickey Mouse, Coco Melon, Peppa Pig, Spider-Man. They've got some others, just can't remember. And they each had like variations of each thing. So like all the different characters they had out. They had the scratch off fun and games. This was $2.98. Um, I don't know if this will go in Cooper's Easter basket or if I'll put this up for his birthday. We shall see. And then I got bubble wands. These, they had like just the generic $5 ones um, for like, with like dinosaurs and a few other ones. But I saw these and I really wanted to get Cooper Ninja Turtle, but they didn't have the Ninja Turtle ones out yet. And I got to thinking about it. I said, you know what? I got the kids bubbles already for their Easter baskets. Um, and I think this will just be so much easier than them spilling bubbles everywhere. And they fight over characters like their Valentine Day baskets. Their Valentine Day baskets. Cooper had got Sully drink and then Mason got Mickey Mouse or Spider-Man or something like that. And Cooper wanted the Mickey Mouse. So I am learning with that type of stuff to get them the exact same thing as long as I can to keep them that I want to switch because Mason's going to get to an age to where he's not going to want to switch anymore. So this is what we're doing for now on. So I found these Mickey Mouse bubble wands or like bubble blower. And these were $7.98 each. Like I said, they had Spider-Man. I don't know if it lights up or what it does, but the bubbles come out right here. And there's a place for batteries and I'm guessing in the bottom. Oh, it already has bubbles in the bottom, you can see. Let's see if the paper tells us if it lights up or sings or anything like that. It says it blows streams of bubbles. You need uh, three AAA batteries, which we have. And that's all it says. So. Yeah, I don't know if they sing or if they blow bubbles, but the kids will have a blast with these and I won't have to worry about bubbles spilling everywhere. So I've always just found that bubble wands work great for my kids. So if you want something really cute for Easter baskets, go and get these bubble wands. They're very nicely made and they have tons of characters, y'all. Hey, y'all. Wanted to give you a heads up on the Yoplait Yogurt Gogurt Tube, the 16 counts at Walmart. They are doing a huge deal on these on uh, Fetch Rewards right now. These are them right here. I think this is like the orange cream. But the cotton candy pack and then the ones with the red, blue, and whatever. They are doing 700 points back for the 16 count at Walmart. So you're getting 70 cent back, which is 700 points on Fetch Rewards. You can freeze these and they can basically be a smoothie popsicle come summertime. And you can redeem this as many times as long as it's on a separate receipt. So I had two receipts and I had bought a pack when I was at a boyfriend's house. Then I bought a pack when I got groceries to restock at home. And I got a dollar and 40 cents back just from getting two boxes of those. Run and stock up on your smoothie popsicles and your yogurt for summertime and use those offers right now because it's going crazy also huggies dollar general's doing a sale it's like two dollars back i got four packs and then i took a photo of my receipt and i got 28 points back on fetch rewards for each pack of the wipes that i bought 
So check out those two deals. Go and do them because I just got like $2 back just scanning my receipts. And I hope it helps y'all. Bye.